What are you doing? Why aren't you a member of the Goosh, our Patreon, yet? Come on over there. We'll be waiting for you. Okay, guys, I've been getting a lot of questions recently about um, the content on the channel and, you know, is this coming up or when are we going to see this and is this still with us or did we get rid of it? So I'm going to make this video just real quick to explain to you how I'm doing things and what you can expect to see and everything. Now, I know I, I get <laughs> whenever this happens, I get a lot of questions. I'll make a video dedicated to it to try and, you know, just let everybody know what's going on. But it could be YouTube doesn't send out notifications, could just be people don't have the time, whatever. People don't watch it, then come ask me the same thing anyway. <laughs> but I'm going to try. I'm going to make the video and try. And, and please, by all means, those of you who are watching and will find out exactly what's going on, when you see questions about it in the comment section, feel free to respond on my behalf. It helps me out a lot. So, um, you know, not stepping on my toes at all. I'd appreciate it. But pretty, pretty simple, basically. As you guys know, when we came back to doing the reactions to the series type or to the shows, I tried out a bunch. Now, the ones that did the best that you guys have shown the most interest in and watch for the longest, I'm keeping. The others I've had to put off the side, not to say they'll never be back, but they're out for now. Some of those like Bleach, I believe will probably get voted in at the, at the Goosh at our Patreon at some point. But, um, the reaction videos uh, outside of the series, the reactions and try not to laugh, uh, you know, reactions to Family Guy, this, that, or the other, those will always be here. I love doing those. We all seem to enjoy those, have some good laughs, but there's no sp specific schedule for them. They just, you know, as I want to make some, we make some and have some laughs together. But what I've done with the shows that have survived the cut right now, and I'll constantly be trying out new ones with you guys, are Rick and Morty. I wrote them down because I'll forget one. Rick and Morty, Gravity Falls, The Boondocks, The Office, and Total Drama Island. Now, we just debuted It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It, it did really poorly. However, this is a rare case where I'm going to make an exception only because so many, I mean, a ridiculous number of you guys between here and over at the Goosh, our Patreon, so many of you guys that have been with me for a significant amount of time, I've gotten to know, I know your likes and dislikes, I mean we become friends, have said, please, please, please keep this one going. I mean, I've never had an outpouring of support for anything new that we've tried in this genre like I have with that. So that's enough to convince me that even though it didn't do well, let's continue on at least for a while and see if it can gain some traction. So that will be there. As far as the rotation, I take the best performing of these series that we're watching, which right now is Rick and Morty, and they come out every third day. Other than that, they just get fit in as we go. The reason I don't make a regular schedule is my days are really crazy, hectic, and there would be a lot of days I, I might not get to. Like if I had Gravity Falls scheduled for Tuesday, well, there's going to be a Tuesday that I can't do that video. And then it just screws up the whole schedule, pushes everything back. So basically, and, and the other side of that coin is sometimes I find myself with extra time and I might throw in an extra video that day which would screw up the schedule. So the top the top video series we're doing at any given time, again, now Rick and Morty, will be every third day, and the others will just keep rotating through as they have been. Um, the Now, uh, of course, too, I wanted to point out the boondocks is I'm done with that because a lot of people don't realize that. I watched that over at the Goosh, at our Patreon, and now I've brought it over here. I just edit them up and bring them over here. The others I'm making as we go. We have thousands and thousands, literally over 5,000 videos, reaction videos over at the Goosh. So I'm going to try as we're going to figure, try and figure out which series that we've done over there you guys might enjoy as well, and I'll bring that over as I've done with the Boondocks. But that's all it is. I just go by, it's not strictly views when I debut something, it's views and even more importantly, watch time. Because whoever did watch it, I like to think that they're watching it for a substantial amount of time, just because that's how you guys tell me what you like. And I will say this, with Sunny, with Always Sunny in Philadelphia, even though the views are down, the watch time was excellent. So that's another indicator that, you know, it, it might be something that we'll catch on as we go. But there's no more to it than that. As always, you know, unfor it's unfortunate we have to do it this way. 
But the only way I can keep my videos up, and you guys know who have been with me for a long time, that for whatever reason, we're under a lot of scrutiny at this channel. I found a method for editing them, as you've seen, that seems to satisfy the bot and the production companies. So they're all edited in that same manner. And then the unedited full reactions go over to the goosh, our Patreon. I have to keep all that stuff behind a paywall for obvious reasons, but anything I make for YouTube, I will always make available at the goosh at the $1 level. So it's a buck a month to see them. One of the things I do pride myself on over there is the, if you enjoy watching my reactions, you will get, <laughs> you will get your money's worth. That's honestly a really big deal to me. I keep, there's a ton of content. Let me put it that way. We have three regular series that we do every day that are typically almost always anime series. Then we have tons of Gusha 100 videos that uh, the Gusha members sponsor for us. And then all these videos from YouTube, we have the full versions over there. So there's tons of content. I always like to feel like, I don't care how much it is. If, even if it's a buck a month, if somebody's paying a buck a, buck a month, <laughs> a buck a month to see my content, I want to Make you feel like that was a dollar well spent. And if somebody's spending a hundred dollars a month and sponsoring Goosher videos, I want to make sure that they feel like that was their money well spent. It's, it's a big deal to me. So that's it guys. That's all there is to it. I will be trying out more shows as we go and we'll play it by ear. I may be retrying shows as we go along too. I was shocked by how poorly uh, Game of Thrones did. I was shocked by how poorly Breaking Bad did. We may try them again at some point. Cyberpunk Edge Runners, I, th I think might get picked up the goosh. We we nominate, we put the series in by nominations in a poll, and I think that might get picked up there along with Bleach. But we'll see how that goes. But yeah, because something's out of the rotation doesn't mean we'll never try it again. It just means right now the group we have isn't interested. So that's it, guys. That's all there is to it. That'll be the regular schedule going forward. Any questions you got on it or anything, just you know post a comment in uh, one of the videos, and I'll talk to you guys soon.